the latest, I'm joined live by a current affair investigative reporter, Adam Shand. Adam, can you confirm that charges have been laid? Because it's been a fairly fluid situation there throughout the afternoon, hasn't it? It certainly has, Tracy. It appears that Judith Moran has been charged with uh, uh, to be, being accessory to murder after the fact. Suzanne Kane has also been charged with the same offence. There are two men who are being brought back by police from country Victoria. They're expected to be charged with murder also. Uh, it is a fluid situation, but that's what I can tell you so far. What can you tell us about the relationship between the, the arrested men and the accused women? Uh, Suzanne Kane is the sister of Trish uh, uh, Moran, who was married to Jason Moran, who was the late son of Judy Moran. Um, one of the men, Jeff Armour, is believed to be the boyfriend of Suzanne. Uh, we're obviously having some problems with our link down there to St Kilda Road and we'll come back to Adam Shan very shortly. Let's just move on. Our investigation into the rising number of assaults between teenage girls prompted a strong reaction from you. Many found it hard to believe that there were girls as young as 13 viciously attacking one another and some want to know why police seem reluctant to act. According to your emails and your videos, the examples we uncovered were just the tip of the iceberg. Ah, oh, appears we don't have that story for you. All right, we're going to move on. Well, it seems we... <laughs>